when we posted this video about changing the dynamic header names and show selected year and previous year names, we got few comments about, can we also do this for month and year? This solution will not work for month year. And in this video, we are going to show selected month year and previous month year name as the column header of this matrix visual. All right. Here I have already added the month year slicer and created this matrix. Now without wasting any further time, let's just jump into the first workaround. First of all, in my date table, I will add a calculated column named as sort helper. For this, I will multiply the year column by 100 and then we'll add the month number column in the same. This will be used to apply the sort order on my month year column. So I will sort my month year column based on this. If you want, you can also hide this column from report view. All right, now I will create a new calculated table, which will be an independent table, same as we did in earlier video. I will need both the columns, which are month year column and the sort helper column. I will apply a similar logic, but here we will face a problem which we will see in a while. So my new date table is created, and here again, I will apply the sort order for my month year column. Next is to create the DAX measure for new total sales. Here I will validate if max of the sort order column of the old date table is either equal to the, the max sort order column of new date table, or it is equal to the max sort order minus one, then only calculate total sales. We will still face an issue with this approach, which we will solve, but for now, Let's use this measure. For this, select the matrix visual, remove the existing total sales measure, and then we'll use the newly created new total sales measure. You need to also remove the month year slicer from the old date table and use this column from the new date table. Now you will see that this visual is showing the dynamic column names for selected year and its previous year. But there is still one big problem, which is if you will select any January month, it will not show its previous year month, and it will show only the selected month. So why is this happening? If you will look into the sort order values, for example, January 2014 and December 2013, you will immediately find that we are only considering max value and max minus one. But here the difference is big. To solve this, first, I will add the month column as well in my new date table, and then I will change the DAX measure. I will break this measure into two sections. In the first section, I will validate if the max of the month number is one, then I will use this same expression, but my previous month sort order is max sort order minus 89. If you are wondering if it always be 89 for January selection, then yes, the difference between Jan and previous year December will always be 89 for any year's January selection. With this, you will see that we have solved this particular issue and our visual is now able to show current month and previous month even for the January months as well. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.